Do, 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 do. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to week four. So here in week four, uh, the goal is to continue our second unit, the introduction to programming unit. And um, at this point, we're going to continue along the lines of getting started with this uh, start with programming. Let's take a look at the website and see what I got planned for you guys this week. So this week during week four, um, as you can see by what I've written here, you're continuing unit two. So at this point, you probably have taken a look at the part one content. Part one content can be looked at on the web page itself, or you can look at the PowerPoint, or you can look at the video. Probably getting a little sick of me saying that by now, but I just want to remind everybody that you can look at it in its original format or its PowerPoint format. Or if you don't want to read, you can look at the video. Why not? You know, you can do that. So those are all options for you. So at this point for week four, you've probably already looked at part one. And now, once you're done the first uh, design assignment, then you could look at part two. Part one design assignment is designed to get you used to using uh, Visual Studio. Part two will now get you started looking at coding and how that goes. So if you are ready during week four, you can start taking a look at part two content. That has an example that goes with it. So then you should do the example that goes with part two. So with the example, you now have the option to take a look at following through the example step by step as you set up a project, name it, use it, set up the design, and then eventually get to actually writing in some code. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's in part two in the example. Then it shows you how it will run and how things will go in that way. You'll also notice that you can, if you need to, go directly to the code, but this doesn't give you all the um, uh, instructions on how to get there. So I wouldn't recommend that right away, but that also gets you a sort of directly to code. Since this is your first example where you're actually trying code, you know, you may want to kind of experiment with these links I've given you. Once you now have a familiarity with code, there's several assignments for you guys to work on for this week. Okay, so, and I will maybe provide some videos explaining in more detail some hints for each of those. Uh, but for now, just maybe get started on those. And if you have any questions, email me, okay? Or you can certainly go to the help page. But remember, the example you're going to do this week will provide a lot of hints for how to do problem one, two, three, and the case study. Okay, I'll come back with some more videos on each of those and some helpful tips that I'll put on the assessments page that'll accompany each one of those. But for now, good luck on week four.